I was aware of the picture taken in Dublin Street in 1966. Um, back in the 70s, it was in the New Musical Express, but it never actually said uh, where it was taken. And it wasn't until about 1999, 2000, when a, uh, a photographer called Barry Feinstein, who accompanied Dylan on that legendary 1966 tour, uh, published a book of photographs. And there in the book uh, was the picture I'd seen, a small one, um, Sakes and it was Liverpool, but amongst the other ones there was this amazing picture of Dylan surrounded by these what looked like Victorian street urchins who lived in that actual area in Dublin Street by the, people will know it now from where the uh, heritage market is, off the Dock Road. So I found the location and then nothing really happened, found one or two of the, the kids on it. Uh, and then about 2006, uh, BBC uh, contacted me, a uh, producer there from the Inside Out program, Sally Williams, and they were interested in making a very rounded documentary about what had happened to those kids, which is what I'd been trying to do. And what we did establish fairly quickly was that they were alive, thank God, and that um, they, the interesting thing is none of them had any recollection of the fact that they've been photographed with such a major influential figure as Bob Dylan. Um, like me at that time in 66, that particular day stood out for me because it, as in, it was the day Everton won the FA Cup and came back from two down to win it 3-2 against Sheffield Wednesday. So I was more interested as a 20-year-old back that day in those events going on in Wembley. And that's what the kids could remember. They were playing out on this wasteland and, uh, and it just happened to present itself that these kids uh, who were just playing out that day while the cup final was on um, gathered into the door and uh, there's this wonderful photograph of Dylan with these kids.